What's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be, hopefully, testing the Mercury Redstone for the mod.io upload. I have worked on it tirelessly the last couple of days to make sure that it is fully working and the last test I did, it worked. So hopefully when we do the showcase video for mod.io, it works as I intend it to. And you guys can have as much fun as I have with it. And obviously, as you can see, I've basically been working on the new Puddle Jumper design. It's actually a one-to-one -one scale of the real sci-fi Puddle Jumper from Stargate Atlantis. And I'll be doing a video later on this and giving this little showcase for Mod.io because I think it's Mod.io worthy. So with all that said, if you like my content, please hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. So let's get on with the rocket launch now I think this little billboard here is an awesome addition to the build itself obviously we've had pr plenty of uh, showcases in the previous videos so if you want to go check out them today we are going to be just launching the redstone so before we actually uh, go anywhere let's just take a nice screenshot here of it And there we go. So, so basically, if you're looking at this from uh, up, uh, basically download it on mod.io, this is basically a little showcase on how to use it. You come up this back end up here, it's like elevator tube. We have no elevators because they're hard. So we come up over into the white room. Uh, even though it's black, we in the white room, this is what it's called. And we're basically up to where the capsule is on the rocket. We press this button here and it moves the tower over to the rocket like so we come over to the like hatcher and we basically enter the rocket through this grill and now we're in the rocket now got to quickly just get the uh, tabs up so we can see what we're doing so this is basically the rocket build I um, can't seem to get the right angle so here we go or well, we could do it this way for a second so the first thing you want to do when we launch this rocket is we want to press down on the d-pad to retract the tower away from the rocket like so and then basically this is an auto launch sequence so basically you press up and it'll do everything you need to do for the launch anything you kind of got to do is sit there and hopefully everything works fine so now the tower is retracted, we're going to basically press up on the D-pad once I get the camera angle. And we're basically going to go into like a cinematic perspective where we're going to do a little time lapse to the key points. So this video don't take long. So I hope you enjoy the little time lapse. So let's get going on 3, 2, 1, ignition sequence. And off we go. So I think we're coming up now on to the first stage of the rocket launch, which is the basically the escape tower detach. Now we're just waiting on that merge block at the top of the rocket to go from green to yellow and once it does we need to do a slight manual maneuver just to detach that tower. So we're just waiting now on that green light to go yellow and then we can then move out the way. There we go, so we press B and there goes the tower. And all you have to do is press B a little bit just to move that tower and then now on the next stage is booster. Uh, turn off, separation, and basically plumb it down back to Earth. Like the real Redstone rocket did back in 1959 or 1960. Can't remember the year at the, at the time. So we'll quickly time lapse to the next part of the build.
So we are now coming up to the crucial moment of booster separation. We are at 11,000 meters. It's gonna shut off soon, I hope. Uh, if the timer blocks are working fine, I believe that we are ready. Now, if we go past 20,000 meters, I believe that it's not working, so we we'll have to in investigate. But I believe that it should should be working right. I've done a lot of testing, and this is it should work, I believe. Swaying on that confirmation now. Come on. 15,000 meters. There we go. Booster set. And we are free, but what I wanted to happen on the booster didn't happen. It did in the last one. Very strange why it didn't. Oh, it, or is it? Actually, no, it is. It is. Don't worry. I basically have a a small hydrogen thruster on the booster that basically fires up a little bit on its thruster override to move the booster away from the capsule so we don't have that interference. So yes, it is. Worked perfectly how I've envisioned it. I'm just hoping that it does, it, it does fall back down because we are going down now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to basically have a little time lapse and we're going to basically land back down on the ground and get out as and just basically be happy that we survived so we'll see you in a second At 10,000 meters, we still got ways to go, so we'll just continue the time lapse until we get to about 1,000 meters. Not long now. And if you notice, I have my friend down there, Chaz. He's working on the Falcon 9 booster to try and get it to land automatically upon uh, detach from the uh, second stage upon launch. So hopefully, he's making some decent progress down there for that because it's quite a tricky tricky thing to achieve so we are coming down quite fast so let's just quickly time lapse down to the bottom four thousand meters still got a little bit to go but we can see all the impact craters from my previous rocket attempts quite funny really especially around where all my rockets are it's just craters everywhere so we're coming down we should be landing on the ice now the parachute should auto deploy at about 500 meters but I did put the parachutes in the toolbar just in case that doesn't happen as like a fail safe because I don't want to go boom so we're at 1800 meters Let's zoom out a little bit 1500 so another thousand, well, another 500 to go in a minute. Here we go. Shoot should all deploy any second now. I hope they do. We passed the 500 mark. They're not all deployed. Maybe it's 300. No, nope, 300 meters. Scare yourself then. So shoot's deployed at 300 meters. And we're coming back down for a nice soft touchdown. And there'll uh, be booster over there, as you can see. I'll put an arrow down and it's landed over there. I think I even heard that go boom. Just drop those shoots a minute. To get down a bit faster. Because we don't. Why wait, eh? Or should I get a better angle? That should do now. There, my nice little fleet of rockets. Obviously, my next rocket I want to try and build will be the Mercury Atlas, which is the next in line of uh, manned vehicles that NASA built back in the day for the uh, space race. So I hope you like the uh, Mercury Redstone, and it's a simple design. Obviously, it doesn't go to space, so it basically does what the Mercury Redstone did in real life. It goes up. 
goes to space a little bit, then comes straight back down. Yeah, the next rocket, which is the Mercury Atlas, I probably will put that into orbit or into zero G because it does go into orbit, and technically, to achieve orbit in this game, you've got to be in zero G. So that one will go to zero G, and then I'll probably work. The next one on that will be the Gemini rocket, which I think is the Centaur or the Titan two. One of them. I have to obviously do some research on those rockets. But if you do like my content and you want me to, and you want to continue to see me build these uh, versions of the real life rockets, please hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'm also going to start building some Stargate ships. Yeah, obviously, as you can see by the puddle jumper I have over here. Quickly go back to it. As you can see by the pole jump over here, I actually had quite a bit of fun building it. So again, if you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any other sci-fi ship or real rocket that you want to see built on my channel, please leave that in the comments below as well. I've been Dr. McKay, bringing you another rocket video. Thank you for watching, it does mean a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.